everything was new and you have a new board and a new manager who were willing to take a new look at things and try some things a little bit differently. Katie and Christian have been a great addition to the board. Oh my goodness, it's been like drinking water from a fire hose. No hazing. I was looking for the hazing, but there was none. We have a, a combination of, uh, of new energy, fresh perspectives, along with age and sage. We've got Jay, and he's been here for a long time, brings a lot of institutional memory. There's change. Hopefully there's great consistency as we build on the successes and the policies of the past. John's a lawyer, so he brings a lawyerly way of looking at things. Uh, and sometimes I have a tendency to uh, maybe sound like I'm deposing somebody when I talk with them. Then you've got Christian, who is an economist. Having them validate you by electing you is an incredibly heartwarming feeling. But kind of after that day of euphoria, you have to get down to the business of preparing for the job. And Katie is by far the youngest, brilliant young woman. It's been an incredible crash course in, uh, in having the same depth of understanding that the people of Arlington have come to expect from their elected officials. And actually, I think of the whole team. You got the board team and you got the manager. The, the new part especially applies to me since I was officially hired in January. And I think this is a dynamite team, dynamite team. <laughs>I think it had been uh, a week and a half after I got the job, we had Snowzilla. Some board members referred to it as baptism by snow. I was so impressed, I got to see really in a way I hadn't seen before, the dedication of the county workforce to try to clear our roads and our streets and make them passable. There's so much data now available uh, to the government that we need to share it. We need to uh, share it with the general public. Uh, we now have on our website what we call the pavement condition index map. You can go on our website, see how your block is rated in terms of the quality of pavement. So now we are video streaming at least our work sessions. People will be able to watch at home. And at one in the morning when you're having trouble sleeping, you can watch our meetings. Uh, yeah. I think that encourages people then to try to connect with you more. Uh, I did something for the first time, uh, and that's engage in a live Twitter chat. Uh, and it's a really great way to uh, respond to people outside of the formality of a date prescribed meeting. I think really at the end, uh, I felt like as a board member, uh, every conceivable angle, every conceivable perspective to the issue had been raised and vetted and discussed in a public forum. And that's really the essence of public engagement. Uh, with the school board, this is, uh, we're now having just a regular series of our joint meetings, and I think that is great. The idea is to have groups of folks between the two boards uh, who are especially focused on these issues of facilities in terms of demographic projections, um, student projections, facilities needs ahead. Nice to see you. Good to see you. We now have an ombudsman for business and an ombudsman for citizens. We're taking more of an individual approach with each person and that's really crucial to making it all work well, I think. So now you can take it out, put it in that green can any time of the week. It'll be picked up regularly. In Arlington, we like to plan. Planning is our bread and butter. Our effort in determining a new vision and determining a strategic plan for that area is really to make it more welcoming, more pedestrian friendly. And that mall will transform that block and it will ripple out to the rest of Boston and Virginia Square. We decided in this small business summit uh, to give them one-on-one um, -on -one technical assistance and be more responsive to our small businesses who after all collectively provide literally thousands of jobs for folks in our community and in the metro area. We had over 600 units that were either approved as a committed affordable unit or preserved or the life of that commitment was extended. This was the year that we functionally ended veteran homelessness here in Arlington County. It's a way of recognizing uh, across sectors, not only government and nonprofit, but also uh, the for-profit industry, women who are shaping the future of our community. 
Crystal City being disconnected from its local library by Route 1, we said, all right, let's make a pop-up library where we can actually connect those residents on that side of the highway to all that libraries have to offer, including not only books and videos and computer access, but meeting space, etc. You can also get um, energy meters and thermal cameras that you can take out just like you can a book. This is a, a holistic effort to try and make sure that even despite this inconvenience, we can still give our customers a transit alternative to get to where they want to go. We have to try and build bridges uh, and work together. Uh, we all want to ensure that Arlington continues to be a very welcoming and inclusive community. To show what it looks like to be a community that has a home for all and thrives, not despite that inclusiveness, but because of it. And we are going to protect and preserve the values that make us what we are, including the inclusiveness and diversity and respect for one another that works so well here in Arlington. We're gonna to have to engage really fully in Arlington and, and sometimes that's gonna mean creating uh, relationships from scratch because they just have not existed. And uh, you know, that can be daunting, but it's also an opportunity. So we're gonna keep it positive and uh, we're gonna to continue to be who we are. And again, I think local government is extremely important and I'm just so grateful to be able to be here and serving our people, yeah. Oh,